In this tutorial, I will explain how to draw an involute. The definition of the involute is something like this. Involute is a curve traced out by one end of a piece of thread when wound or unwound from a circle or polygon and the thread being kept tight. That means when you are winding the thread or unwinding the thread around a circular disc or polygonal disc you will get an involute. Now I will explain how to draw an involute. For drawing the involute the data required is diameter of the circle. Now keep on center point here and take the radius and draw a circle like this. After drawing the circle divide the circle into some equal number of so you can consider some number of equal divisions on the circumference of the circle. After dividing the circle give the numbers on the numbers for the parts something like this in this direction that means here I am going to draw for the winding case in the direction of winding you have to give the numbers something like this here I am going to wind like this in the counterclockwise direction that's why you give the numbers in the counterclockwise direction then draw a tangent to the circle at 12th division somewhere here and the length of this tangent is 2 pi r something like this with 2 pi r length you draw the tangent and you divide this tangent also into same number of equal parts here the circle is divided into 12 parts so divide this tangent also into 12 parts something like this so from here you have to give the numbers in this direction such that when you are winding it this 1 dash must coincide with this 1 and 2 dash must coincide with this 2 something like this you can wind in this direction ok next draw the assume that this is the point P now draw the tangents on the circle tangents to the circle at points 1 2 3 4 and so on up to 12 so at point 1 you want to draw the tangent means this is the normal O1 is the normal perpendicular to this O1 if you draw a line like this that will be the tangent to the circle in the same way you draw the tangent at point 2 that means you have to draw a perpendicular to this line O2 then automatically that will become the tangent to the circle in the same way at point 3 also you draw the tangent at point, point 4 and repeat the procedure up to point 11 already at point 12 tangent is this line something like this you draw the tangents at all the points on the circle so at point 12 already tangent is there next step is take p to 1 dash now observe this p to 1 dash this p to 1 dash length as radius 1 this blinking point 1 as center draw an arc onto this tangent something like this now observe this point I am calling as p1 this point is p1 now observe this distance as radius this p to 1 dash distance as radius 1 as center I have drawn an arc onto this tangent this point I am calling as P1 this is the first point on the involute next next take P2 2 dash as radius and this point 2 as center draw an arc onto this tangent something like this this is the radius this point I am calling as P2 now observe this distance P2 this 2 dash as radius this 2 as center I have drawn the arc this is point P2 this is the second point on the involute you have to repeat the same procedure for all the 11 points now observe now I am taking P2 3 dash as radius 
this three blinking point three as center. Draw an arc onto log as draw an arc onto this tangent. This is the radius. This point is P three. Okay. Now repeat the same procedure for getting P four. P two four dash as radius. This four as center. Draw an arc onto this tangent. This is the distance. Now you are getting P four. Now for getting P five, repeat the same procedure. This is our center. This is the arc. This is P five. Okay, for P six, center. This is the center. Here, drawing the arc. This distance for P seven. For P eight. For P nine. For P ten. For P eleven, you take the small distance as radius. P to eleven dash. Eleven as center. Draw an arc. You will get P eleven point here. P twelve and point twelve on the circle both will coincide. This is P twelve. Now draw a smooth curve joining this P P one P two P three so on P twelve. This is the involute. Now, how to draw the tangent and normal to this involute? For drawing tangent and normal, I am picking one random point somewhere here in between P4 and P5. I will take point P. Okay. Next, what I will do is draw a line joining P and the center of the circle O. Something like this. You have to draw the line. After that. locate the midpoint of this line locate the midpoint of this line and this point as center and this to this point as radius that means half of this line length as radius draw a semicircle something like this you draw a semicircle while drawing semicircle you have two possibilities you can draw the semicircle in this direction and you can draw the semicircle in the opposite direction But you have to choose the direction in such a way that here your point is in between P4 and P5. So this semicircle must intersect this circle, which is generating involute in between 4 and 5. If you draw on the other side, you won't get the intersection point in between 4 and 5. So that is the precaution you can take. So this intersection point of this semicircle and this circle you call as some n. So here this n must lie in between four and five because p is in between p four and p five. Now draw a line joining n and p. That will be the normal line joining n p is the normal. If you draw the perpendicular to n p line, that will be the tangent. Now this is the normal and this is the tangent to the involute at the point p. In this way you can draw the involute and tangent and normal to the involute